Hello there, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Aquarius, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, I'm going to split this deck and pull cards from the center. All right, we are getting the Ten of Cups. Aquarius, there's a lot of joy, celebration, happiness. Lots of good things are happening around you. Some of you are experiencing this joy and happiness as well. You're like diving right into it. Everything feels good. Some of you are exploring the world right now, traveling, really enjoying experiences around you as well. There's parties, events, work events, networking events, lots of uh, opportunities for you to really connect with other people and build deep bonds. Even family, I feel for some of you, you have family that is traveling in to visit you. Perhaps there's a wedding, there's some sort of a celebration in your life. I feel that good times are here for some of you and you're really feeling this energy. The other thing I'm feeling here is this is your happily ever after, Aquarius. It's a dream that you have. Some of you want to have a family. You're looking for that life partner. You're wanting to have a child, really grow your family. This is all coming towards you. You are in alignment with this Ten of Cups place, Aquarius. And having that vision around what this happily ever after for you is. So what I want you to do today, Aquarius, is use your own intuition with my cards as you watch my reading. As they come up, whatever intuitive messages you receive, you're meant to receive them, okay? So what is this vision, vision for you, Aquarius? Because if you clearly can see this Ten of Cups place for you, this is where everything is going to align you to. Spirit guides are, and the universe are going to work in alignment to bring you to this place. This is a place of emotional satisfaction and fulfillment. This is where you have really healthy connections, people that lift you up. This is a place of happiness, ultimate happiness and joy. This is where you have everything, Aquarius. So this is all coming towards you, know that. Next, we're getting the Queen of Swords energy. This is a very beautiful, very feminine energy. So Spirit Gods are really wanting you to focus on that Ten of Cups place really focus on it with clarity speak that truth outwardly and not only that they're wanting you to express love outwardly in everything around you people situations to really put love into everything that you do because the more you express love outwardly the more love that will come towards you not only that they're wanting you to put your love care nurture your energy and your time into all the areas of your life that you want to see growth in this is a turning point for a lot of you Aquariuses out there i feel this is very important that you embrace this queen of swords energy and this is all about you putting yourself in that mindset of growth and abundance and really remaining in that place and this is going to prove to you how much growth and abundance can actually come into your life once you start practicing that uh, mindset. We're getting Seven of Cups energy coming through as well. So this is a lot of choices, a lot of options. Some of you are facing them right now. Some of you have these options. You're kind of trying to decide what you want to do. Lots of different things coming towards you here. And what I'm getting with the Seven of Pentacles, uh, sorry, Seven of Cups energy is there's a lot coming towards you here. Aquarius and Spirit Guides really want you to heighten your awareness at this time because there's opportunities coming in. And sometimes with this uh, Seven of Cups energy, uh, it feels like chaos is coming to worries. It's a lot of incoming things, a lot of things happening all at once. And we have to ground ourselves and really look, uh, make a point to be aware of what people are saying, what the signs are around us, because through that uh, chaos comes blessings, little bits at a time. All right, so beautiful energy here for you, Aquarius. I feel there's a lot of growth opportunity, growth potential, a potential to expand and a, a potential to really rise in your place in the world. And 
this spread is very powerful because I, I, I feel for some of you, you are manifesting something in your life or many different things, manifesting this life of the Ten of Cups. And for a lot of you, I feel that your focus is more on your happiness, that finances aren't a big part. I feel the finances are going to come regardless because you're passionate about something. You're putting that desire and that will towards really building this lifestyle for yourself, right? So that income, that abundance follows when you're actually following your purpose, your path. And spirit guides are always working. The universe is always working to align us to that path. And everything works... Um, it kind of comes together on its own. And sometimes we aren't even aware that this is happening. And what spirit guides want you to do is really lift yourselves up right now, Aquarius, especially through the energy that is around you of celebration, of joy and happiness. Especially those of you that are going and attending events. Maybe there's a wedding. Perhaps someone's had a baby and there's celebration around that. Maybe you were promoted or someone around you was promoted. What I'm getting here is someone in your life was promoted. This could be a friend, a spouse, a family member that is sharing their promotion with you. And spirit guides really want you to celebrate their success with them. All right, because through that energy this is lifting you up as well and inspiring you okay so celebrate and really celebrate and be in that moment and experience that feeling that you're experiencing of joy and happiness and expressing love now the other thing thing i'm feeling here for you aquarius is as you're out and about as you're mixing and mingling and really getting out there there's opportunities for you to connect with people that are opening doors for you so there's something coming in here through a person that you're going to connect with through an event okay so lots of things coming through again there's lots of uh, blessings coming through towards you here aquarius so i want you to be very aware of your surroundings, of the people that are trying to talk to you. It's kind of like they want you to slow down just a little bit and ask questions and really ask questions and feel the energy of the other person that is around you that is trying to connect with you to build deeper bonds. I'm getting some travel here as well for some of you uh, Aquarius is out there. I feel some of you are going to meet a Capricorn. Um, what is this other energy that's coming through here? A Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus energy coming through. So if you're traveling, you're going to an event somewhere, maybe this is work related, perhaps you're going on a retreat, whatever travel event you're going to, there's a connection coming in. It doesn't have to necessarily be a Capricorn, Taurus energy, but I'm getting this very strongly coming through for some of you. So this could be somewhere else in your life, but there is a Taurus Capricorn energy coming through here that is going to help you in a big way. Okay. Now there's somebody that you're meant to meet. And I feel this person is going to approach you, Aquarius, when you're out and about. And spirit guides want you to actually have a conversation with them because there's a message coming through this person, possibly in the form of an opportunity. Okay, so be aware of the people that are approaching you, especially through events that you're attending. Be open and receptive. Um, they want you to invite this energy in as well. Now, when you visualize this Ten of Cups place, this is your happily ever after. What I want you to do here, Aquarius, is use my method of manifestation because this works for me and this is why I'm sharing it with you. I usually visualize abundance. I look up at the sky. So if you want to go outside or stand in front of a window where you can see up at the sky is to visualize your Ten of Cups place, whatever that is for you. Really visualize it with clarity in the sky and I want you to pull that abundance towards you as strings. Pull it in as strings and believe that you're pulling. I want you to picture magical strings that are sparkling and just coming towards you or whatever you want to imagine those strings to be. Pull them towards you, wrap yourself up in it, like literally twirl yourself around with it like this magical string and just walk around your home spreading that love of that magic of that abundance coming through and believe that this is going to be pulled in towards you. This works for me every single time, Aquarius. I cannot tell you how much this works for me. Okay, so 
There's so much abundance coming towards you here, Aquarius. I want you to know that. Now, as I'm doing this reading, Spirit Guides just wanted me to focus here on my magic moon ritual intention candles. So my sister-in-law makes these and I've got a live event I'm doing for the moon ritual on August the 1st. And any of you that are interested in purchasing these, um, the, the uh, purchase link is going to be in my description box of every one of my videos. These are intention ca candles. They have unique stones that are going to be consecrated through the moon ritual that you can wear later on. So any of you that are interested, the link is in the description box below. So grab one. They might not make it for the August 1st, depending on shipping, but I, would, I, I will be doing another moon ritual on August the 30th as well. So you'll have that for that time. Any of you that are interested and that 10 of cups place, you can put that vision in that stone and consecrate it during the full moon. All right. So visualize this and really aim for this have your goal set on this place writing this down on a journal is also going to help you okay so connections are coming through here for you Aquarius now this is where you ground your energy this is you accepting your place in the world where you are in your present moment Aquarius it doesn't matter where you are whether you're going through ups or whether you're going through lows Spirit Guides really want you to ground yourself where you are and be compassionate and gentle with yourself or whatever it is that you're going through right now. Ground yourself. Stand there firm. Own your power. By grounding yourself, you tap into that power of yourself, of you. Because you, Aquarius, are a powerful force to be reckoned with. And I feel sometimes... We forget to use our power and that happens over the course of our lifetime. Things happen, people happen that can take our power away. So spirit guides really want you to ground yourself. A good way of doing this is by getting outside and going barefoot on the grass. Be careful of bugs. You don't want to get stung by a bee. That's happened to me before. Or getting out in nature and really clearing your mind and having that vision there. Putting yourself in a mindset of positivity, growth, and abundance is going to also help you. This is where you really nurture yourself and nurture your mind. Be very aware of all the things that you are consuming physically and mentally. And how you speak outwardly. Okay, so this is all about intellect and the way you express yourself. So it's going to be very important as you move forward, Aquarius, to be very careful of the words that you say, of what you think, because everything that you think and say becomes your reality. So it's all about learning how to shift that in your mind and really practicing that. There's tons of videos on YouTube you can find on reprogramming your mind or living in a, a positive growth mindset. You can also use positive affirmations and mirror techniques to help you stay in this place. Mirror techniques are great because that version of yourself that you want to express outwardly that perhaps you have suppressed or are, you know, nervous about bringing that version of yourself outward, expressing that version of yourself to yourself in front of a mirror where there's nobody around is going to help you to become that version of yourself. Okay, and remember, we are all different people with every different person in our life. We're different with our child. We're different with our spouse. We're different with our work people. It's a different personality that we have with each different person that we meet in our lives, right? So that true authentic version of yourself, who is that Aquarius? Show that self to you, to yourself in the mirror and really show yourself some love as you're looking at yourself right? Reaffirm your affirmations in the mirror. Do this every day. Repetition is key. Consistency is key. Discipline is going to be key here for you as well, especially when you ground yourself. You are going to experience a lot of growth here. Aquarius, like massive growth, I'm not even telling you. Beyond your wildest imagination. Just from making a little bit of adjustments in your life. This is what this card is showing you. That right now, some of you Aquarius, uh, you are, what I'm getting is you're like kind of giving birth to this new idea. There's something coming through you. And through, I don't know if you are starting a business, a project, maybe you're doing a side hustle, or you're wanting to kind of 
follow your passion. I feel your heart's talking to you as well, uh, Aquarius. There's this feeling like there's something that you want to do deep down inside. It's been gnawing at you for a little while here. And this is what spirit guides want you to allow to come outside of yourself. This could be you playing the guitar. This could be you becoming an artist, a painter, right? A musician, an actor, whatever this is. Maybe you want to be a YouTuber, right? Whatever this is, there's something there. I can feel it. There's like something that wants to break free and you're meant to allow this to come through you. This is kind of that birthing that is happening for some of you. It's like a metamorphosis. There's a little bit of uncomfort around this, which is normal. And, you know, when you express yourself outwardly, when you really live in that true version of yourself, you're going to see a shedding happening. And what I'm getting here is that you're going to see people being kind of pulled away from you and this new set of people coming in that are better aligned for you, Aquarius. So lots of different things are happening for some of you. It's a beautiful feeling. Embrace it. Embody the Queen of Swords energy. This is a very loving, caring energy. And this is what spirit guides want you to kind of pull it towards yourself and be gentle and compassionate with yourself as well. I feel sometimes we can be hard on ourselves. And this is where spirit guides want you to really respect yourselves. Aquarius, I feel sometimes we lose respect for ourselves over time. And they want you to create uh, value systems for yourself as well and stand by them. Okay, so a very powerful card here. Now, lots of things coming at you all at once here, Aquarius. Embrace this energy. It might feel busy, it might feel chaotic. Spirit guides want you to take that chaos and bring it in and put some structure to and sift through it carefully. Really look at it and see what you want to keep and what you want to let go of. Now, what happens is this could be, say, for example, you've got a job offer coming in and you're, you're thinking about taking it. It might not be great, but then another one and another one comes in for some of us, right? For others, either, these are other things that are happening. Perhaps um, you've got people approaching you, you're on the dating scene, you've got all these options. Spirit guides want you to use your heart here, Aquarius, to decide what it is that you want, what, what it is that you want incoming, that what do you want to keep. And also being aware of some of the things that are coming towards you because I feel some of you are really busy. You have a lot of responsibilities, obligations, lots of things going on. And sometimes we don't have time to stop for a moment to really bring ourselves into the uh, present moment. And spirit cards are really wanting you to experience your life and not let life pass you by. I feel for some of us, life has passed us by and we're kind of sitting here like, what the heck happened? Where did my life go and where am I and how did I even get here? Right? Those are the kind of questions. And it's because we haven't seen these that are always there coming through. The universe is always sending them towards us. And because we're on autopilot, not recognizing them. And, and that's that time that flies by so quickly. Things just pass by us and we just kind of, it's because we're on autopilot. So my purpose here on this channel is to help us to break out of that autopilot mode and really take control of our lives and look for the signs around us. And Aquarius, there are many signs around you right now, whether you are aware of them or not. And sometimes we are like, oh yeah, there's a spider in my house. That doesn't mean anything. Everything has a meaning. All right, spider is transformation. There's something coming in. It's also protection and it's growth that's coming in as well, right? So if you're seeing bugs, if you're seeing animals, if you're seeing numbers, all of this is a way that the universe can communicate with us and there's many of them coming towards you. So being aware of the opportunities. Now, it's almost like becoming awake to some of the things that are going on around us and Sometimes I'll have a conversation, say, say, for example, with my husband or my daughter or a friend, and they say something that immediately, because I'm in the present moment, I'm very aware that I have an aha moment. I have the ace of, ace of swords pop into my head like that just happened. I'm going to write this down right now because I'm getting some sort of intuition coming in through that message, through that conversation, even though it has nothing to do with uh, what we're talking about, but just from that one sentence 
something sparked in my mind. It happens to me quite often, actually. So I feel for some of you being in the present moment, being aware of all the opportunities that are coming towards you. And right now, Aquarius, there are lots coming towards you. These are little ones. These are big ones. And you could be walking down the street and you might bump into somebody that might be a CEO of something and you have strike a conversation with them and they hire you on the spot. These kind of things do happen, right? So be aware of your surroundings, be aware of opportunities. And as you're making choices and decisions in your life, are these aligned to your 10 of cups place here, Aquarius? Is this where these are taking you? Because if they're not, then you need to let them pass you by, okay? And sometimes there's little opportunities here. This is why I'm saying be aware of everything because little opportunities can lead to bigger ones. So sometimes we want one certain thing in our life and we're waiting for the big one. But in order to get to the big one, we got to go through the little ones and you're going to know what these are. You're kind of like, okay, you know what? This might be a good opportunity, but it's not that. But this might lead you there. You never know. So take chances and take risks here, my friends. And always look at the bigger picture when you're making choices and decisions in your life around anything. Is it aligned to your higher purpose, to the place that you are kind of going? And along the way, we're going to make mistakes and that's okay. We learn from those. There's a reason why we go through that. Everything that we've gone through our life has brought us into this place in the world, the place that we're in. For me, for example, had I not gone through all my life's experiences, I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you today doing these tarot readings. Had my life been a little bit differently, I'd be in a completely different place, right? And I went through many hardships, Aquarius. I went through a ton of things that I, I'm surprised I'm even sitting here in front of you like this. So I'm a very strong person. I don't let anything get in my way. So I feel that it's time to really be aware because the universe is blessing you at this time, Aquarius. There's a lot of happiness coming towards you. And it's all about truly grounding yourself in that energy and visualizing where it is that you are headed. Where is your destination point here, Aquarius? All right, so that is your reading through the tarot cards. I'm now going to pull a spirit of the animal oracle card for you this is the deck here for those of you that are interested in purchasing it i got this on amazon and um for those of you that are seeing signs if you've been seeing animals or insects this is going to be your confirmation so i'm going to pull one card read you the interpretation from the guidebook because i love the guide guidebook interpretations all right we are getting raven shaman have any of you seen a raven this is also a crow or a black bird. I feel they kind of are in the same group of birds. So let me read this to you. If you've been seeing one, this is your confirmation. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now on your screen. Okay. So you are the creator and the magician Aquarius. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and your words. Connect with the element, uh, elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Look at that. I feel this is aligning really well with the Queen of Swords energy today for you, Aquarius. What a powerful message. I'm going to read you the interpretation here from the guidebook. Here we are, Raven. If you have been a lover of ravens, collect their feathers, embrace their images, read their myths, observe, observe them in nature, and love black, then raven is your totem. Aquarius, I didn't know that. That's something new I just learned today. It is said when magic is near, ravens appear. Ravens are messengers from another world. They bring a secret knowledge about magic and divination. Wow. Ravens are the winged spirit advisors from your own powerful subconscious. Raven people conspire with the energies of the universe to help them create their dreams. They experience continual learning and enlightenment. Raven people do not fear the darkness, the vast unknown in their storehouse of cosmic forces. Others can be drawn to raven people, but also might be fearful of what they know. If Raven is your totem, you are creative and love playful interaction. You cultivate the natural philosopher within yourself. You have access to the subconscious mind and this incredible knowledge is yours to retrieve. 
If raven is your totem, learn to meditate and reach deep within yourself to know your own reservoir of wisdom. Go into the dark and bring back the light. Raven can fly you there and introduce you to the riches of wisdom beyond your wildest imagination. Look at that. Didn't I say that in this reading today? Your wildest imagination, Aquarius. I'm telling you, there's an ascension happening for some of you. Uh, and I really feel that you're going to experience a lot of growth and expansion in your life. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. All right, this one wanted to come out. It's stuck to my hand. Number 19, I am a pioneer. So if you've been seeing 19s or 1 and 9s together, this is your confirmation, Aquarius, that you, my friends, are pioneers. Let me read this to you. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you, Aquarius. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. Look at that. This is uh, really aligning with um, the Ten of Cups card. So if this reading resonates for you today, Aquarius, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.